Hi there. I'd just like to say a few little words about the herbs that you're all going to be growing uh, and to explain a little bit about the care in your herbal community. Now, words uh, to do with herbs, herbs speak, shall we say, very simple. You don't need to know an encyclopedic knowledge here. Um, basic words are, say, an uh, annual herb. Well, basil is an annual herb and that means that it goes from seed to leaf to flower to dying back all in one year. That's it. It only has one season. Biannual, as the name would suggest, means two years. And that means that the plant grows from its seed to maturity to seeding in two years. It comes up one year, has its leaves, etc., dies back in the winter, comes back up again in the spring, and then does its flowering and seeding, and then it's gone after that. That's it. You have two years with it. Perennial means that they last longer than that. They come up in the spring, you have your whole season of flowering and seeding, they die back in the winter and then they come up again the next spring. Now evergreen means that they keep going all year round. They're just quietly growing away even in the depths of winter. Sage is an evergreen, rosemary is an evergreen and they keep going. Two other words that you need to know, hardy and tender. Tender, as the name suggests, are herbs that they don't like any hardship at all. Oh no, they like, they like the good life. That's Basil. Uh, Basil is a boy who likes a good life. Uh, he likes to be looked after, the slightest bit of frost and cold and whoosh, kicks up his heels and that's him, gone. Rosemary is a bit more hardy. Uh, Rosemary, yeah, she doesn't like him. A major frost will kill her. Sage as well. So none of our herbs are really, really hardy. But rosemary and sage, they, they're, I would say, semi-hardy. That's the main words that you need to know. Other words you need to know are the actual care words. And that's my menu for success. There's only three words in that vocabulary. Sunlight, water, and drainage. And if you get those three words right, your herbs are yours forever. They will love you forever. And they will pay you back tenfold. Sunlight. Most of my herbs are Mediterranean in which case they do like the sun. Some of them you can get away with a bit of shade. Mint, for example, will grow almost anywhere, so you don't really need to worry about it being in full sunlight. Lemon balm as well um, can tolerate a bit of shade. The guys that really like the sun are basil, of course, he would, wouldn't he? Um, lavender, and your chamomile likes your sun. The rest can, of course, have a little bit of shade going for them. Water. Everybody needs water. We all like to have a drink. And you must give your herbs water. But don't overdo it. They, they can't drown the poor guys. Remember, they like a warm, sunny climate. So make sure your soil is moist to the touch. That's all it needs to be. Just check them every day to make sure they're moist to the touch. Drainage. Drainage is the most important thing with your herbs. They hate to get their feet wet. Think about it, they're used to Mediterranean climate, they're used to rocky soil where the water comes down, goes into the soil and drains away. That's what they like, that's the sort of conditions that you must emulate for them. So I always advocate making sure that your drainage is top notch. So when you get a pot and you're planting up your herbs, make sure you put little stones or you put broken up terracotta or shards of pottery, anything in the bottom of the pot, just to help with the drainage and help the water go through. And the most important thing is to have holes in the bottom of your container so that water can go right through. You must have that. If you plant your herbs in any container that doesn't have holes in the bottom, you're just asking for trouble, you'll kill the poor plants. So really, don't do it. Double check every container to make sure there's holes there, make sure the water can get through, and that way you give your herbs a fighting chance. So that's basically it. That's the words you need to know, and that's your menu for success. Now, digging the dirt on the herbs, planting them up, etc. As I've said, you can plant in almost any container you can imagine, as long as it has drainage holes. I use everything from tin cans, which I love to use, by the way, for things like a basil plant. I think there's nothing quirkier than a little basil plant in, say, a tomato soup can, you know, with the label on it. I think it's really cute. And again, make sure that it's uh, got drainage. I love these big biscuit tins. These are fantastic. 
Olive oil cans are great, especially for basil plants and things like that. Um, I also like baskets. I'll use uh, any old baskets and plant them up. Again, they have great drainage anyway, natural drainage being a basket. And uh, terracotta pots are my absolute favourite. Now, I know they can be pr quite pricey, especially when you go for the frost-free ones, because they will crack in the winter if you don't get the frost-resistant type. Um, another drawback is that uh, they do retain heat in the summer, and if you get a particularly hot summer, um, they can really dry out, so you've got to be on the ball as far as making sure that they're moist, you know, for your herbs. Um, but they are lovely. I just love the way they age up. I love the patina. I love the feel of them. Um, and they just get better as they get older. They, they really are my absolute favourite. You can get plastic pots that are such good imitations. You know, they're amazing. And if you paint them with natural yoghurt, you can actually get all the moss growing on them and things. So they look really good. The advantage with them, of course, is that they are really lightweight and you can move them around. And they are a fraction of the price of these guys. Wooden tubs, now they're another choice, and they don't heat up as much in the summer, so you don't have to check them as much for moisture, so they're good. Um, but they can be very, very heavy if you've got to move them around yourself, so um, bear that in mind. Try and lift them up first to check for the weight and see, remember you're going to be putting in your compost, your plants, everything, so make sure that you're going to be able to manage them. Um, and uh, jugs, ceramics, things like that, think of those type of things. Again, Use a ceramic drill, get a hole in the bottom so that the water can come through and then you can make use of absolutely any container. I love old colanders from the kitchen, things like that. I've even used actually welly boots because they had a natural hole in them anyway, they were done. So I filled them up with soil, planted some herbs in them and they look great and uh, they're always a talking point in the garden. Um, so just use different types of containers. Think outside the box, think outside the planter. Be creative, be inventive and put them in all higgledy-piggledy places and really enjoy them, make the most of them. Now when you buy your herbs, you'll get them in, uh, you could get them in seed form, but to be honest, if you want to be so easy about it, get your small plants from the garden centre. You can usually in the spring get, um, for about two pounds you can get little herbs, herb plants. Use them and bring them on from that. It gives you a flying start and it means you're not dealing with you know, greenhouses and bringing things on yourself. So do that to get yourself started and get your interest going in herbs. Keep it the easy way. You can buy them in plastic pots and then for bigger plants, they're now selling these plants in these um, coir pots. Now you can actually just put this whole planter into the ground and this just biodegrades into the soil. It's amazing, it's fabulous. So that's a good way to go. Um, when it comes to actually planting your herbs out, position is all important because they do need this, they do need their sun, as I said, sun and shade. So think about what ones need what and place them, you know, accordingly. And if you're doing planters, then you can move them around. You know, you're not stuck when you put them into pots and things. You're not stuck with their position. You can find which position works best for which herb. Just keep an eye on them and see how who's coming on best and move them around. See where the sun hits in the afternoon. Things like that. A lot of our herbs will grow perfectly happily in a window box, um, on a windowsill, even just little plant, plant pots on a windowsill is great. You know, I'm a great believer in get a start, get in there, however small your steps are, take the baby steps to get there. You know, get a few little herbs on the windowsill and make a start that way. Now, once you've got your herbs established and they're growing well and they've really come up during the summer, you want to be harvesting them, you want to be taking the goodness off them, that's what you're growing them for. So you want to cut them throughout the summer and you want to just cut the top third. You want to leave plenty of growth to be coming back because herbs, will, they're a case of cut and come again. So if you take the top off, more there's more goodness going to come and the herbs going to keep growing. When it comes to chamomile flowers, take the flowers off and then the new flowers will come back and there'll be more and more and more. So just keep going around your herbs every day and taking off what you need. And when you take them off, dry those that you don't need just now and you've always got your harvest throughout the winter and there's a whole section on how to preserve your herbs as well. So that's it really, a little introduction, introduction rather to herb speak and to digging the dirt on your herbs. I hope you will now get out there and you will be uh, really keen to get going with your herbs. They're easy to grow, they don't need a lot of maintenance and care, you don't need any expensive gizmos, gadgetry or tools. You would just need a little trowel for digging into the ground and that's about it. A pair of scissors to snip them with 
and that's all you need. So go on, enjoy herbs. It really is so easy. I can't stress that enough. I hope you'll enjoy them. Thank you.